Last one for this session, at least. Oh, my nose. Your body and a bit of your hair, too. Once you're all recovered, it fixed the injuries. Bring my right hand to the top of my head. I'm not bald, but it does feel a bit shorter, so I guess they had to trim a little. But now I don't have any clothes. Gee, I wish there was a spare set I could use. You're really bad at this. I shouldn't be doing this in the first place. Uh, I'll get them. I guess as good as time as any to show you the, show them to you. Thanks, by the way. Where are Penny and Jack? With the headmaster. I see. Guess this was too big to keep hidden, wasn't it? Being able to transform even into Grimm? And still being able to use Aura. A fearsome ability. It's a testament to your teen's training that no one managed to survive alone against it. Barely. The fact that this Howard wanted to capture him alive was a big factor, I believe. And Master, do you have any idea what they could possibly want from him? What is this flame they're looking for? As for most things concerning Mr. Decapkeys, this is sadly also a mystery to me. But it is most certainly tied to the voice in his head that you mentioned, in his particular existence itself. So it's true. It would explain why Miss Demra's semblance didn't work properly on him. Mr. Degaki simply had nothing to observe. So his life started the day that meteor fell. At this point, I doubt we can call a meteor. If there are people with exact knowledge of what he carries, I think it's safe to assume that the object is native to Remnant. Speaking of which, you say that Miss Demra read in your attacker's mind. That he has allies. Three of them. Any other details about these allies he managed to retrieve? Only that one of them seems to have some kind of relationship to fire. Fire. It's from Evelyn. Noel woke up. But we should go to him then. Post haste. To see if he can add anything new to our investigation. That will be advisable, yes. You're dismissed, Headmaster, General. Three people, husband. The target is completely different, though. Wherever this flame is, it doesn't have any relation to the meeting that I know of. Whatever. Whatever it is. I, if I knew everything, I wouldn't make mistakes, my friend. Much about Remnant's past has been lost to the tides of time in conflict. I fear this is a threat we know nothing about. So, we do nothing. Once again, you suggest our course of action is waiting for their next move. Husband, I hope this isn't another one of those mistakes you mentioned. Oh, sadly it is. 100% it is. Hey, it's the second form. How do they feel? They feel great. Why worry that the jacket will stain easily being white? Like, this is the cosplay I was talking about. This one, and then the last one when we get to the end of the game. I would like to see someone try to make this jacket. I would 100% wear it. There's actually a few tailors in town where I can request, but I want to ask you, the viewers, to see if you can achieve it before then. They're hunter grade materials, so it won't stain. They won't. Ever seen someone with dirty clothes after sparring our training? Except for you, of course. True. Damn, think that hunters put so much attention into what they look like. You have no idea. 
Good to see you back on your feet, partner. Noah. I'm so glad to see you're feeling wholesome. Penny. Don't worry, I'm okay. I wasn't gravely injured. I knew that. It wasn't your injuries I was worried about. What were you worried about then? Your state of mind. Considering the new information Harold shared with us during his attack. Oh right, that. Eflin, during the battle you... What exactly is it that you realized? Remember when we first met, my semblance didn't seem to work properly on you? I remember. And when what exactly does your semblance do? Evelyn can see the past or future of people and things. There are limits, of course. But when we first met, I tried observing your past, and I couldn't go further back than the moment you woke up in the crater. In that crater. At first I thought it was because of your symbols shielding you somehow, but taking into account what Harold said. I didn't even have any other past to observe. I was born in that crater six weeks ago. Oh well, that's one mystery down at least. <laughs> Everyone's reactions. Oh, what's wrong? Boy, what's wrong? Nothing, apparently. Don't change the mood so suddenly. Bloody hell. No, you're... You're not bothered by this at all? Should I be? Maybe a little. Is this another thing, like with the clothes? No, it's a... You're really taking this in stride. It does bother me a little, yes. I mean... I get it, I'm not human, but it doesn't really change anything, does it? Parents, a family, a life before Beacon. I lived without those things, and I've been doing pretty good for myself, have I not? Now we know they don't exist at all, but I'm still me. I've taken all my days here, one day at a time. Focus on what I do instead of where I came from. I'll just keep doing that. So, am I still your friend, even if I'm weird? Absolutely. We promised, after all. As the headmaster said, teams are forever. And partners, too. I'll be damned if I let you, let you go over something like this. Thanks, girls. Truth is, I was worried it would change something for you. Well, I was just being stupid, wasn't I? So... Want to tell me what exactly you dug up from Harold's mine? His name is Howard, and I think we should get lunch first. Well, I am hungry, but I think I can resist. Then again... Uh, I feel like I heard something I wasn't supposed to. I'm happy to hear everything's going well. You sure you don't need more time? Of course I'd like to have you back at the school, but... I will see you on Monday then. Good morning, Noah. You had it interrupted. Yeah, okay, we're back to this. Tuesday, day 37. Hmm. If a event is so need to be added, why are we in the hallway? So he'll probably keep on wearing my old, uh, my old outfit. Considering this flame has been referred to as some kind of object, when using it be more correct? Kind of hard to refer to someone with my own face as, as an it. Also, it has a personality and all, he feels like a person, so I'm going to treat him as such. 
You're right. No more miraculous saves, I guess. Considering that someone's life was in danger when it first happened. I don't really want to see what would require a second intervention. Also, I feel like I should apologize for leading us into danger. It kind of comes with the job, doesn't it? Nothing much we can do about a little danger. And how were you supposed to know about Harold anyway? You didn't you didn't willingly expose us to any danger you knew about. Except the Grim, but it would have been much of a training without enemies. True. Still, I'm certain they will target Noah again in the future. We need to learn more about Her Howard and whoever his allies are. Also, I think learning more about the flame may shed some light on their motives. Hmm, never heard of anything like it before. Sounds like some kind of mythical object, but those only exist in myths or fairy tales. Well, I guess we should research some fairy tales then. Seriously? Seriously, considering what people deal with on Remnant Daily? It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if one or two fairy tales were true stories. I agree as well. What the fuck? Amber, do not do that. Don't do what? Amber? Who is Amber? Oh, your friend you were worried about. Where is she? Uh... The girls are looking around in all directions. Even in Amber's direction, but confusion remains on their face. Girls, where are you even looking at? She's right here. Uh, no she's not. Mm, I'm sorry, but you seem to be the only one able to see and hear me, Noah. Say what now? Partner, are you sure you're feeling alright? Okay, the fact that I heard a voice in my head. Head and have an object inside me that talks to me. You think it's not weird that I can contact something else? Really? Maybe you should take in a longer period of rest. No, 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 girls. I know this may sound a bit out there, but I see a mythos golden, cold amber, and the amphitheater. And well, I think she may be a ghost or something. I'm not. You definitely need more rest. Oh, come on. Why aren't we talking about how fairy tales could have truth to them just a couple minutes ago? Fairy tales, me, but partner, this is a ghost story. So? They're, they are, as they say, tots different things. How are they different? I think maybe tiredness and the flame in your body may be messing with your vision. And returning to our original subject. We have to start somewhere. It may give us hints. Well, about we make next Thursday a group study day? It's not a vision. She's right. She's here. I tell you. We can go to the library for fairy tales, but how are we going to gather information on Howard's group? Don't ignore me. Hmm. They're fun. I like them. Do you now? Damn it, girls. Didn't we have a tea moment just the other day? Where's the support? And I'm um, sorry for startling you earlier. I hadn't considered the fact that you can't hear or see me unless I choose to reveal myself. It's fine. Just until I can find some way to convince them. Maybe wait until we're alone for conversations? I agree. Oh, may I suggest the salad today? The dressing looks absolutely delicious. What's with you and greens? What? They're healthy and delicious. Why did I... <laughs> They're healthy. <laughs> Where did that voice come from? Um, let's see. Where'd they go here? Let's look around for a bit. Ah. Best to look around to see if there's events. It's 
So far, nothing. Okay, so... Jim? Jim. Given that training attack helped a good bit, let's keep going. I know it's suddenly popping in and out, but that's because I keep on clicking. Um, let's see. Making sure... Don't click Ospin. Because Ospin literally doesn't do shit. Still, at least the game is still green good so far. You know, partner, I've been thinking. Right before lunch? Try not to strain yourself. Ha ha. Anyway, I was thinking, I probably gain more fighting experience with our excursions in the wild than with any of the sparring matches. You started noticing the limits. Yeah, I mean, these kind of matches are useful in a tournament setting, but most fights in real life don't take place in arenas. They don't, which is why only first year students of combat academies go through this kind of training. From the second year onwards, actually the final exam of the first year is a real life mission under the supervision of a veteran hunter. Ah, so I'm already thinking of the second year correctly though. Huh, <laughs> pretty much. Although, you know, there's an exception. What kind of exception? I said students of combat academies. Now, truth be told, there's one of the big four academies which makes students go on real life missions from the get-go. Even first years? Yep. It's actually in my... You're in the way. Oh snap, we've been standing and talking right in front of the main door, haven't we? Oh, sorry. Huh? Sweet, huh? Sweet hoodie. I'm sorry, we caught up in our conversation. It's fine. I know you weren't doing it on purpose. Yeah. Things that happen when you focus, no? They shouldn't. Eh, excuse me? Concentration is important, but you should never be so focused that you forget about your surroundings unless someone is watching your back. You don't exist in the vacuum. That's one of the first things they'll teach you when you start taking on missions for your school. Makes sense. Still, what a random instance to start imparting nuggets of wisdom. Very true, but I think one can relax at times a little in a Call her elastic mess hole, no? Heh, <laughs> I wonder. Anyway, I'm Mei Zedong. And the school you're thinking of is Shade from Vacuo. Phew, she was intense. A bit too serious, maybe. But I guess that's how you end up growing up in Vacuo. You're from Vacuo. I only lived there the first years of my life, and my family was rich, Noah. That's a very big difference, and Vacuo is a very different place from Vale. I see. I should probably keep that in mind. Checking time. Look around. See if there's anything to do. Or we just go back to gym in the sun. Fucking fly. <sighs> gym it is. Again, I'm not going to repeat lines.
let's see, let's make sure that again there's nothing for us to do in there. Okay. Day three. Ugh. Damn. Lesson's over for today as well. Although I wonder why Miss Goodwitch is here. A moment, if you will, children. Starting on Monday, Professor Topaz will go back to teaching aura classes only. Oh, so he was a substitute teacher. He joined the school half a year in, so we didn't know. Professor Peach finished her maternity leave and will be taking care of her class once again. Uh... Uh-huh. Really? Uh, those are two complete opposite reactions. What is this Professor Peach like? There's a lot of students. Yes. Not as many boys as back in Vacuo, though. I've noticed. Anyone caught your eye yet? Octavia, no. Hmm, I guess the offer... Offer is so large that I gave you cold feet of... On making a decision. Hold up, I need to check something. Um... Be sure... Okay. You can't use this... But Gwen, this is your chance to turn the trend around. It's a new school, new ground. The problem is the only thing that's remained the same, me. Oh, nonsense. We've been working on you, haven't we? You and I still fail to see results concerning the self-esteem sphere. Among other things. Gwen, if you don't try, you won't succeed. It's just a matter of percentages. Really, most of it. You says don't go through anyway. That's what you said last time. And the time before that. And the other 48. Perfectly normal. For you, at least. I don't know, Octavia. Maybe I'm just not ready. You'll never be if you stop I'm trying. I think you just need the right incentive. There he is. E excuse me? Six o'clock. You like tall blondes, don't you? I do, but come on. Look at that cute girl with him. I bet it's his girlfriend. No, she isn't. Trust me, I have an eye for these things. Still, Octavia, I haven't gotten any better or more confident at flirting or making a casual talk. Then don't. What? Just put on your best smile and go to go to him and ask him if he'd like to go out with you. That's ridiculous. Who in their right mind would say yes? Maybe him. Come on. Show me what you got. It has a lot of personality. Oh my my my. It's horrifying. It's what it is. Oh no. The one from a couple months ago that was horrifying. This is just awkward. We can work with awkward. Just go th there and ask him. And remember the worst that can happen is that he says no. Uh, hey. Hey, Blondie. The Blondie. Huh? What? I... Don't think I ever seen someone so uncomfortable in my entire life. So why is she carrying her weapon on out in the open school? But but um honey, are you alright there? 
Looks like you're having a stroke. N no, I... I just... I'm sorry, I... I was just wondering if... you like to go out on a date with me? You... what? It's very sudden, I know, I'm... Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Sure. You... what? What? Sure, I'll go on a date with you. Someone... someone actually found that charming? Who is this person? But, 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 I... What's wrong? I mean, you... and I... you weren't... I smile... F -f 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 50 times, and you... and then... I don't... Ah! As I thought... Well, what... what just happened? I guess you didn't notice, but... there was another girl looking at us. She was dressed and... dressed similarly. Whatever was happening here, considering how uncomfortable the girl looked, I think she was pushed into it by the other girl. By that other girl. So you called her bluff, I guess. Yep. Um, what if she actually wanted to go out on a date with you? Please. I'm me. I doubt anyone would want to date me at just a glance. But what if they got to know you better? Well, that was a waste of an afternoon. No flames here. Same results. And I did. No mention of flames anywhere. I have to say though, the library doesn't really have that extensive of a section on myths and fairy tales. Well, it is a school, and that's pretty much fiction. It's culturally relevant fiction, though. Also... Yes, the new number of extra in Vav. Um, I'm keen to return this. Oh, finally! I can't wait to see if the, if the late night visits of Masukate get discovered? Take? Yeah, there's really no excuse to not having any anthropologic sections, philological sections. We should check out the bookshop in Vail. Also, see if we can find anyone able to tell us more about Howard. Maybe we could ask Yang about that. Why Yang exactly? Well, she knows the owner of Juniors, and there are rumors about the guy having some ties in the criminal world to the criminal world. Oh, I see. Whatever Yang's relationship with the guy is, maybe she will be able to help. We could ask her at the party this Saturday. Eh? I don't think that that will be possible. Uh, why not? Hmm... Evelyn starts from her chair and walks past me, heading towards the next as she does. Her right hand touches my chest and then slowly slides down to my abdomen off my right hip. The action makes me shiver and flush. I think you'll be occupied that night. She says and then walks out of the library. What was that all about? I'm... I think I understand. You do? No one on our team has ever gone to a party. She must look forward to all the dancing. Somehow, I don't think that's it. And sadly, that's correct. That's not it at all. Um, anyway, are you going to dress up? I will probably just go with the normal clothes you got me. I was thinking about just going in the beacon uniform. Oh, that's a nice idea. I guess I'll do the same. I see. Did you manage to catch a glimpse of Evelyn's project? Not a peep. It's kind of impressive, considering you were roommates. She probably wants to be a surprise. Damn it, I'm so curious now. But I only have to wait until Saturday. And speaking of curiosity, while I may have not found anything about the flame, 
I found something about something else. What's your favorite fairy tale? <laughs> so, maidens. Yes. Like in the fairy tale? It is no fairy tale. I figured. Still, what? You don't look that old. That, that's not what I... I'm not the maiden from the story. Hmm, I figured. But you can never be too sure, you know. If magic is real... Hmm, maiden powers are just passed down. They don't make the user immortal. Or, I wouldn't find myself like this, I think. You still can't remember what happened to you? Not exactly. I just have feelings. And I know someone, someone targeted me because of my powers. Someone wanted to steal my maiden powers. Is, is that even possible? Stealing magic? I think so. And I think she succeeded. But maybe she didn't? She, she's here. Those are or your words. Yes. You're telling me that this person who tried to hurt you is in Beacon right now. Y yes, I'm sure of it. I can, I can just feel her. And I can remember the way their hands. As they grit me and, and Amber, calm down. Please, it's just you and me here. Don't push yourself to remember. I'm... I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I shouldn't have brought it up all of this time. All of this stuff at all at once. Especially since you mentioned that there's... Mentioned that that's all people ever cared about. People for... Cared for you. Yes, but... It feels different when you do it. You know? How so? Everyone who's ever asked me about things related to my powers did so because they cared about them. The type of people who had them. How they were used. If I was probably trained. But I feel like you're asking because you're worried about me. Oh, of course. I'm worried about you. I mean, how could I not be? Very easily, believe me. I want to help you, Amber. I don't know what exactly happened to you, but living like this? You say life. I may very well be dead, all things considering. So you're a ghost? No. No, I don't feel like a ghost. But you're not in your body, somehow. I wish I could remember more. Me too, but please do not try and force yourself to remember. I won't. Thanks for worrying, Noah. It means more than you can imagine. To help Amber, what I must first do is unravel the mystery behind her current state. And she can't remember. What should I do? Checking all this stuff here before we go back. And I should end it here when... I did, I'm good to there. Friday 40. Yeah, I should stop right here. I'll save. Whoop, that's it for this session. Hope you enjoyed. This is the Anime Alley, signing off.